Helping to solve the homeless problem in the state will be a hot topic tomorrow on Utah's Capitol Hill. One nonprofit hoping for funding helped launch a pilot program they believe is making a difference. New specialist Debbie Worthen joins us live tonight. Debbie, we're talking about the new community of micro shelters. Yeah, we sure are. Now, Salt Lake City spent just over $600,000 to purchase these units at the end of last month. At the end of a six-month pilot program, it will cost about $800,000 to run those. But those involved say this is not a traditional shelter. It's part of a long-term fix and not a short-term Band-Aid. This is our bed. We can lift it up and it turns into a table and chairs. After 20 years of homelessness. This is my home. Johnny Vieira is thankful. Absolutely. More than I've ever had. She's one of 50 residents living in micro shelters, part of a collaboration between Salt Lake City and the Utah Office of Homeless Services. The temporary community is made up of the units that are about 75 square feet, furnished with heat and a lock, an alternative to homeless shelters. This allows us to have more one-on-one -on -one time and gives them a little bit more privacy. Carol Hollowell is the CEO of Switchpoint, the nonprofit that runs the project. She believes the resources people get here set them up for success. A lot of the homeless population have not had the chance to connect and build a relationship up with a service provider. That's part of what they do here, but the residents have to agree to security checks and no drugs. We have rules that they are expected to follow while they're here. Cody Sanders is the site manager. We help them apply for Medicaid, Social Security benefits. We get them involved with housing resources around town. Just whatever barriers they might face to successful housing, we help them overcome those barriers. It's still too soon to know if the project is considered a success. We've only been open 31 days. I think by the end of April, we'll really have a good sense of what the data is telling us. It's like a family reunion here, you know. For Johnny, the staff has helped her find employment. I'm going to go to work at, with Carol. Which means she can get into affordable housing and the stability here has given her the hope she had all but lost. It's safe, secure and it's home. It's a place to call home. Now, tomorrow, faith and community groups will meet here at the Capitol at 10 a.m. to talk about bills that support fighting homelessness here in the city and the state. Deanie, back to you. Encouraging to see that some of these solutions are working, showing promise. Thanks, Debbie.